have attended the PHP conference last year, so I was there for like 15 minutes. Um, what is it? A highlight talk? Like a fast talk, something. So I'm here. Um, I'm also leading our community group, which is the PHP Women Asia. So I'm here because it's Women's Month. So last month we just celebrated International Women's Day. So if you can see in Facebook, there, there's like a there's a lot of posts about women, like more bold, be changed, or something. So yeah. So our theme is called Be Bold for Change. Yeah. So. Just a highlight, so this is the PHP Women Asia. So we've done a lot of like activities and meetups and we our biggest meetup was on the PHP conference as well. So we kinda meet all the like the speaker, the oh, I forgot her name. You're sorry, you just recorded. Okay, yeah. And and also in the WordPress event we also have like mini meetups there and yeah, it's quite fun. And our first workshop was held last year as well in October. So it is, I mean, the title is Build a Website with WordPress. So it's quite free for, for everyone. It's not only for girls, but also for both male and female. So it's a whole day event. Uh, we had 31 participants. <coughs> it's sponsored by Microsoft. And we have 8 to 10 volunteers, which is from the PHP user group and uh, the WordPress group. Yeah. And we also, like after the workshop, right, we just requested a survey. So was the workshop useful? And then 100% the said yes. So it's quite, <laughs> like, make us very happy. Like, yeah, it was there. And then the girls there are there. And we can, like, teach them, like, um, how to use WordPress. And I mean, we use themes. And but it's good, like, the especially there's an old lady, like, auntie there. She was so good. And uh, yeah, it was quite good. And I think we. We're still going to do that more. Um, so International Women's Day, be bold for change. So as for like our community, right, I just make a post, like I, I published a post about, about female PHP developers, which I highlight most of the PHP developers that I know personally and in Asia. So I'll just... Um, so Brita, she's there. So hi. <laughs> so I just like feature them in my on my post, like about about what do they do and what do they think about being a woman working in a team which which, which is a male dominant. And uh, more is Noor Azliza is she's from Malaysia. And Cherry, she's the PHP user group in the Philippines, the president of the PHP user group in the Philippines, and she's a database administrator. Next, Vanessa, <laughs> she's there. Um, she's a system analyst and in NUS, and she's working here. Jay, she's from Johnson and Johnson. She's a s regional service manager in digital. Yeah. And Tracy, she's the senior software engineer in ISO. So I just feature six of them, which um, just to encourage more women to be to take to be a web developer. Yeah. So women in dev. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Okay. So until now, women are still facing barriers. I mean, in our workplace, like pay gap, gender bias, shortage of women role models, among other things. And yes, that includes women tech, like now in the room, how many women are here? So yeah. Um, so I think it's just started when we were still young. So we have two coloring books here. So one is the beautiful girls coloring book, and the other one is brilliant, co brilliant coloring, brilliant boys for coloring book. So you can already tell, right, that all the nonsense stuff will be for girls, and then all those awesome stuff for boys. So, yeah, and then it's, I mean, maybe like for all the majority of the girls here, we don't, we don't really like doing dress up, dress up when we're still young. We like those Lego, we also want to play those. So I think it still started when we were still young. And uh, yeah, so one of the issues that we encountered but not, maybe not for everyone because Singapore is quite good in, the, in terms of female developers in the workplace. But for the worldwide, there's always a gender bias. Like female voices are perceived as less logical and less persuasive than male voices. Um, I don't know, maybe because we're emotional 
and sometimes our decision sometimes mixed with emotion, or maybe because we're not technical enough of our terms, or just because we're a woman, we're, we're oh, you can do this, oh, my, my computer is broken, can you help me? So it's, it's like that. <laughs> and women are perceived negatively for being too assertive. So we're quite shy in terms of like decision making, decision, um, like for example in, um, if for, for me, okay, for example, for me, so the, at first, when, when maybe in my first and second year at work, they don't really want to hear my voice. Like they don't want to hear like my um, what do you call this? My inputs. So I think they, they, they yeah, it's they think that I've used less in inputs because yeah, I'm a woman. But I think for us, right, we have to make a double effort to do it. Like, you have to make proof that, yeah, I, this is the end, that I have a backup. This is what these guys do. I mean, hey, can you, can you support me? You have to do that right. It's not, we have to make a double effort for it. And then another one is women in tech is just a pipeline problem. So because we might slow and because we're, OK, we're just good in coding, but we cannot do the migration or the deployment or some like web op stuff. So yeah. So another one is the gender pay gap. So as you can see, being a computer, computer programmer, we have like page gap, like 28.3%. So I kind of, um, OK, um, recently, last week in the International Women's Day, there's a lot of like women in tech m post that really highlight the gender pay. So um, I don't know in Singapore, but this is like a worldwide infographics that computer programmer women are not being paid same exactly, or not so the same as the male. So I'm not sure why, maybe you know why, because you're male. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's the issue here. Um, another currently, um, so currently there are like 39.5% web, web developers, or female web developers. So I think it's progressing, like, almost there, so yeah, it's not a lot compared to maybe 10 years ago. And OK, so why, is it, why, is it, why am I here? Why am I talking about women dev? Like, why can't we just let men do, it, do the development stuff? So, so here are the list items that I think that why is, I mean, I think also in the world or in the, um, and some people say that why is it important to have a woman in software development? So by 2020, there will be 20 million jobs will be created worldwide that fall under computer and mathematical and architecture engineering related fields. So that's quite a lot. So it will be increasing. Right now we can see right that there's, um, there's a lot of jobs building like data science, um, artificial intelligence, um, what else, digital marketing. So it's, get, it's, getting, it's getting increasing. All the positions in IT are increasing. So so we also need women, <laughs> yeah. And research shows that diversity leads to better decision, creativity, performance, and innovations. Um, I have a friend like working, you know, the Assassin Creed. I forgot the comp what company is they. So one of the programmer, I talked to him. So I told like, oh, do you have like female programmers there? And then she told me, yeah, yeah, we have like she said uh, like from Japan. Like she really contributed a lot. So we're talking about Assassin's Creed game. It's like for male, but her contribution, her contribution is a lot in that game. So that's a good indication that, that really justify this um, paragraph. And then next is allow organizations to better cater to a variety of clients. So um, yeah, not not all. I mean, oh, I understand that. I will not say anything. Um, okay. And then diverse minds drive innovation. So it's, it's exactly the same. <sighs> Again, next is, what can you help? OK, so make your environment inclusive, not stereotypically geeky, expecting all male environment. So I'm not sure in Singapore if they have one here, but um, I know a few of like in the company, maybe in, like, in the Philippines or in Vietnam, like the office is mostly like they are like computer games that, or basketballs that, I mean, yeah, there are some females also play that, but not really all. So maybe there's some, yeah, maybe you need to, need to also think for, for girls. 
mentorship, providing professional guidance. So, I mean, yeah, so mentoring, like what, I mean, Singapore is very good at this. Like, for example, like we have uh, Women in Code, community group, tech ladies, that also men also help in mentoring the girls, and that's quite good. I don't see that, I mean, some complain that, why is it like men, uh, this is a tech ladies community, and why is it men, uh, yeah, are there? But I think uh, I really appreciate that. Yeah, you, sh you should not always think because this is a female community, it's always female. You should always think like for everyone. And then sponsorship, so advocating for women from a position of authority. Yeah. And then be good ally to women. So you understand why they afraid, for example, to talk here, to talk, to showcase, to present what they, um, what they did and um, encourage them to why, okay, you like programming, you like to be in tech, encourage them rather than discouraging them. Yeah, and get rid of technological powerlessness. So this example will be like, example, I'm a computer science student and I have a problem here and then I, you're a male, then I ask you, can you help me? Ten the tendency is most men will just get, get the laptop, fix it, and then, okay, here you go, it's done. So I think what should be needed here is like, okay, um, what is the problem? So you sit down with her, like, what is the problem? You let her do, let her solve the problem, and then, so that she can understand um, and how to solve it, and it will make her a better developer. So, that's it. Uh, okay, so I'm, almost, I'm done. So um, this, this is a nice quote that I read last week. This is very, very good. She's from Jens Nielsen. Um, she's a co-founder of we do, we do Big Ideas, and it's, she's a web development instructor in General Assembly in Hong Kong. So the, revolution, the revolution in digital that will happen in the coming 10 years are mind-blowing. So like I said earlier, I encourage women to join this revolution. It's my impression that some women resist digital out of fear of digital world being called in logic. Nothing is further from the truth. The, the digital world is the most creative industry by far. Finding solution and solving problem is a very creative process. We need women to help build a future. So, yeah. And of course, because SPH is the sponsor of this event, so I have to put it, no, no. But actually, I really like, I really like this quote as well. So getting women on the board is not really about diversity of gender, but diversity of views. So, yeah, she's Tan Yan Yan from uh, SAS Board of Directory from SPH. Um, okay, so want to be a PHP woman at Asia Volunteer. So again, we're not really limited to female only. So we want also males to also contribute, like pay it forward. So we want instructors, like you guys, awesome guys, awesome developers, um, contribute ideas. So um, how can we, I mean, be very creative on how to um, to make this happen, to have to mentor for the mentorship, for the sponsorship. So yeah, here b below the two items. So I mean, we, ha we had a workshop last year and it's also effective and we want also another one, which is um, I don't, maybe more in, in the intermediate, intermediate, uh, intermediate level. So maybe we have those like women who have already knowledge on coding because there's, yeah, all have this um, beginning, what do you call it, uh, experience. Maybe we want to help them upgrade to intermediate. Yeah, so maybe any of you guys would like to contribute. And, oh, no, uh, okay, that's all. <laughs> Thank you, so maybe visit our Facebook page, so just type PHP Women Asia and like, and maybe if you're shy to approach me later, then you can message me, us there, with the girls. Yeah. Okay, in there. <laughs> Thank you, bye-bye. <laughs>